Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to your prosperous account opening and setup guide. In this video, I will show you step by step on how to register for a prosperous account, how to complete the W8 ban form, which is necessary if you want to trade in the US market, how to fund your prosperous account, and lastly, how to withdraw from your prosperous account. I have previously made a video giving you an overview of prosperous, highlighting and explaining most of the things that you need to know so i highly recommend you to check out that video i'll link it up at the top right corner and the description box below so without further ado let's jump right to today's content uh jump oh let us begin with account registration let us jump on to their website at the top right corner click sign up now let's get started pick your country of residence and citizenship should be pretty simple for referral slash promo code do check out the pinned comment in the description box down below i will update you guys if i happen to get my hands on one then click continue now it's time to fill in your personal details your name in the same format as shown on your ic malaysian nric your ic number are you a singapore pr for most of us it's a no fin number this is the foreign identification number you will only have this if you have a working permit in singapore if you don't have, just like me, just leave it empty. For country of birth, for me, it's Malaysia. Date of birth, gender, you know the drill. When you're done, click next. You will be asked to fill in your contact details. Email, mobile number, address, postal code. Should be all pretty self-explanatory. Moving on, you will need to fill in your employment and financial profile. For most of us with a job, choose employed. Fill in your name of company, country of employment, your job title, and your annual income in Sing dollar. The amount doesn't really matter. Source of wealth slash fund, just choose salary and savings if you are not sure. For currency to invest in. Alright, I have actually explained this in my previous prosperous video, link at the top right corner. So to make it simple, if you are from Malaysia or Singapore, choose Sing dollar. If you are not, choose US dollar. Pretty simple, right? So for me, if since I'm from Malaysia, I will choose Sing dollar. Now we need to provide information on our tax residency. For country of tax residence, that would be Malaysia for me. Is TIN tax identification number available? If you are paying income tax, then you can get this number from the LHDN website. Just download your tax form. For individual taxpayer, it should be Borang BE. Look for Nombo Chukai Pendapatan, which should be in the form of SG followed by 11 digit number. If you are not paying tax or not working, then you can just choose no. For the three remaining questions, it will be no for most of us. You should know if you have one. Moving on, they will ask for investment product experience. My recommendation will be try not to let them know that you have zero experience in anything else there will be a lot of restrictions imposed that you wouldn't like. So just trust me on this one. If you're unsure, just follow the ones I choose and you will be fine. For education slash financial qualifications, if you're not working in the finance industry, just choose none of the above for both of them. For work experience, again, I will choose none of the above. For investment experience, I will just choose exchange traded funds ETFs. It's alright if there is no option to choose stocks here. That should be allowed by default. They will then ask for your trading objectives. What is the purpose of opening an account? Choose others. Then at the bar below, fill in stock investing. What is your investment objective and risk appetite? Choose the first option so that they wouldn't restrict you. Then click next. You should be getting this based on your responses. You will have access to the following products, equities and blah blah blah. Then click next. Terms and conditions. Feel free to read them if you have the time. Tick the box here and then click accept. You will be asked to upload your ID documents. Front and back picture of your IC. And for proof of residency, you can upload documents like your utility bill, bank statement, EPF statement and whatnot. The easiest one I would recommend is to submit bank e statement. Just log into your bank portals like CMB Clicks or Maybank to you and download the e statement. Make sure it shows the same address and name as your IC. When you are done, click submit application. Now they will ask you to create your account login credentials. You should know the drill. Just remember to write them down so you don't forget it. When you are done, submit and they will tell you that your account has been created and they will ask you to click on a verification link. I'm not sure why I didn't receive any email asking me to click on any verification link. I only received an email showing that my account is successfully created. Anyways, no worries. A few hours later, for non-Singaporeans like me, Prosperous will send an email that looks like this requesting for a video call verification. Remember to reply to their email with a time slot that you are available for the video call. Basically, it is just a quick 30 seconds WhatsApp video call from their representative. They just want to see you holding your IC for verification purpose. Pretty manual verification for 2021, but whatever. Anyways, when your account is ready, you can log into your account. And before you are able to trade US stocks, you need to submit this W8 band tax form, 
which is a form that non-US residents need to submit before they are able to trade US stocks. Okay, under the My Account tab, you will see this eligibility for W8 band certification on the right hand side. Click Submit Now. A pop-up window will appear. If you are using a Windows computer, there shouldn't be an issue. But if you are using a Mac device, you need to head over to the Safari browser settings. Under Website tab, choose Pop-up Windows on the left column. Then change the permission for portal.prosperous.asia to allow. Then you should be able to see the pop-up window. If not, just refresh the tab. Anyways, you will land on this page. They will say that a pin has been sent to your email. So check your email inbox and fill in the five digit pin number here. Remember to write this down. You will see why later. Then click continue. Account selection, make sure your account is selected. Form status should be no form submitted. Then click next. You will land on this e-sign page. Tick all of the four boxes, then fill in your last name and first name. If you are not sure which is which, this is a great reference for you. Feel free to pause and check for your name convention. When you are done, click submit. Here we are at the form selection page. For the first question, choose individual. The second question, choose no. The same goes for the third question, choose no. Then click next. It will ask you to confirm your legal name. Tick I am the individual listed above, then click next. Country of citizenship, choose your country, mine will be Malaysia. For the question on any secondary country of citizenship, if you are not sure, just choose no. Permanent address should be pretty self-explanatory, fill in the address shown on your IC. And for the question below, just choose no. Mailing address, if your mailing address is the same as your permanent address, then just leave them empty and click next. USTIN, for most of us, we won't have it. So choose the second option. Foreign TIN, this is the same TIN number you have filled in just now during account registration. For Malaysians, that would be your nombor cukai penapatan. If you don't have one, just tick the box below. If you have one, fill it, then click next. Country slash date of birth, this one should be pretty self-explanatory. Make sure you input your birth date in the month slash day slash year format. Click next and they will ask you to confirm your details. Review them again and when you are ready, click next. For tax treaty benefits, if you are from the following countries, then your country has a tax treaty with the US. So you can choose yes. If you are from Malaysia or Singapore, just like me, sadly we don't have a tax treaty with the US. So just choose no. Form review. Just have a read, double check it, then click next. Sign and submit. Tick all of the boxes, then fill in the 5 digit pin number that you have written down at the start. Then click submit. You should land on this confirmation page. You can download the PDF document for your own record purpose. Otherwise, you are done. That is all you have to do. In your account, you should be able to see that the W8 band certification is pending manual verification. Give it 2 to 3 business days and the status should turn into green color with a validity date. And that is all you have to do with the W8 band form you are now permitted to start trading in the US market. Alright, now you have your account ready to rock and roll. You will still need to put money in before you can start trading, right? As I've mentioned in my previous Prosperous video, there are basically three methods to fund your account. Pay now, fast transfer, and telegraphic transfer. In essence, pay now is mostly only available for Singaporeans because you can only do it via selected Singaporean banks and non-financial institutions. Second method, fast transfer. As long as you have a Singapore bank account, you can use this method. For Malaysians, you can open a CIMB Singapore bank account all done online from Malaysia. Links at the top right corner and in the description box below as well. The third method will be telegraphic transfer. You can do that via any bank account from any currency. So most international audience would probably have to go via this method. So to keep this video as lean as possible, I will just focus on method number two which is fast transfer. So there are three simple steps involved to perform this fast transfer. Step number one, get your Prosperous account transfer instruction. Log into your Prosperous account. On the left column, choose Manage Funds. Then under My Funds, choose Deposit. For Currency, choose Sing Dollar. For Payment Type, choose Fast. Fast and Secure Transfer. Amount, key in any amount in Sing Dollar. Then scroll downwards and you will see this transfer instruction. Remember to write this down because you will need to fill them in the next step. Then after writing it down, keep this window open, we will come back later. Then we can now move on to step 2 which is to transfer Sing Dollar from CIMB Singapore account or just any Singapore bank account. Before I go into it, you can fund your CIMB Singapore bank account through CIMB Clicks Malaysia or through WISE. And if you want to save a little bit of money, you can use my WISE referral link down below to enjoy discount on your first international transfer. Alright, log in to your CIMB Singapore bank account under the local transfer tab and under to other bank. Choose via fast slash non fast. For transfer mode, choose the first option via fast. For transfer to, 
Since Prosperous is using Hong Kong and Shanghai Banking Corporation Limited, you can then choose Hong Kong and Shanghai Banking Corp from the drop down menu. Then click next. Time to fill in the transfer instruction from Prosperous. For transfer from, choose your CIMB Singapore savings account. Amount, key in the amount in Sing dollar. Beneficiary account, key in the 12 digit bank account number from Prosperous. Beneficiary name, key in CGS CIMB securities. The name is just for reference purposes, so don't worry too much about any typo. For message to recipient, they did not specify how to do this, but I would do this like how I would usually do with interactive brokers. That is to fill in my account number slash my full name. You can find your account number under the my account step. Should be a seven digit number at the bottom. So fill that in the format of one to seven slash your full name. For purpose code, choose others. For remarks, just fill in the same as the message to recipient. One to seven slash your full name. Double check the details above and when you are ready, click next. You will be asked to approve the transaction on your CMB Singapore mobile app with a digital token. Do that and you should receive a transaction receipt like this one. Now, please record down the last 5 digits of your fast reference number. You will need to fill in these 5 numbers in Prosperous. Let's jump back to Prosperous. Remember the tab that was still open from step 1? Fill that 5 digit number here. And when you have done that, you can then click next. You should receive this pop-up box stating deposit ticket received. So that is all you have to do for funding, just wait for it. I funded my account on a Sunday evening and I got my money in the account by Monday morning. So that makes it less than one business day. Pretty fast if you ask me. And when your SING dollar is successfully reflected in your Prosperous account, you can now start trading whichever investment products or financial markets that you choose to. All conversion will be done on the spot at each individually filled trade. That is right, they will convert at every buy and at every sell trade. Now, let's just quickly touch base on withdrawal. In summary, you can withdraw your money from your Prosperous account to any of your personal bank account. It can be from any currency from any country. But for my purpose, I will withdraw to my CIMB Singapore bank account because local transfer is free. So go to the Manage Funds tab and choose Withdraw. For country slash region, since I am withdrawing to my CIMB Singapore account, I will choose Singapore. For bank, CIMB Singapore will be CIMB Bank Berhad. Bank account number, fill in your CIMB Singapore bank account number, should be a 10 digit number. Swift code for CIMB Singapore will be CIBB SGSG. If you are withdrawing to any other bank account, just google your bank name and Swift code and you should be able to get it easily. For upload document of proof, you will need to upload your recent bank statement. Just head over to CIMB Click Singapore. Under E Statements tab, under Deposit, choose View Online Statement. You should be able to see your statement here and download it in PDF. Then upload it accordingly. Once you are done, click Next and it will prompt you to key in OTP. Do that and they will process your bank account linking. So when your bank account is successfully linked, you can now withdraw from your Prosperous account. The withdrawal steps should be the exact opposite of the funding step. From Prosperous, withdraw locally to CIMB Singapore. Then from CIMB Singapore, transfer it via VICE to Malaysian bank account. And it can be any of your personal bank account. So that is all for today's video. Hopefully this guide can help you to maneuver through the account setup and funding basics. And if you did, a little like and subscribe will be very much appreciated. Thank you so much. Moving forward, I'll be making more tutorials on how to use Prosperous platform and whatnot. So do subscribe and hit the bell down below so that you don't miss any of those content. Do comment down below if you have any questions or doubts or just drop me a hi if you feel like to. I will see you in the comment section down below. Alright, with all of that said, thank you very much for watching. Stay safe, stay invested and as usual, I will see you in the next one.